Hey, it is National Dog Day, and these are the dogs of Good Day Seattle. Look at this. Anchors and production crew showing off our best friends. I mean, we've got Mia, who's, you know, Bill's dog. And I think I just saw Rizzo, uh, who's our producer, Victoria's dog. I mean, everybody, look at all these happy faces. And to help celebrate National Dog Day, we're going to help you out a little bit. we got owner of Bellevue Zoom Room joining us live this morning, John Jansen. John, good morning. Thanks for being with us once again. Good morning, Liz. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Happy National Dog Day. So tell us a little bit about Zoom Room. What do you guys offer the, the dogs of, of the Puget Sound? So uh, Zoom Room is a positive reinforcement training facility. We have a gym where you can bring down dogs for agility training, but we also train puppies, which you'll see now. Um, and we treat them in stages. We uh, also have obedience classes. So uh, we have a wide range of classes you can see at zoomroom.com. Okay, okay. I mean, obviously when you get a puppy, the first thing you think is, uh, you know, um, uh, is training. But if you have an older dog, I mean, you know that saying, you can't teach an old dog new tricks? I mean, what do you do if you have a senior <laughs> dog? Can you teach an old dog new tricks? You can absolutely treat, uh, teach an old dog new tricks. Um, I would recommend if it's a senior dog, I would recommend talking to your vet first just to make sure that it's safe. But we have special precautions for dogs of all ages. And you can bring them in for private lessons uh, to make sure that they're comfortable, as well as group lessons for socialization. Oh, OK, OK. Uh, when it comes to training puppies, are there any things that we need to avoid? Well, we really want to avoid punishment. Um, this is Haley. She's my head trainer. And she will talk much passionately about positive reinforcement. And with puppies specifically, as soon as they perform what you want them to perform, you give them a reward. Uh, so let's. This over here is Biscuit yeah. with Nicole. Oh, Biscuit? Oh. <laughs> Biscuit, is, Biscuit is eight months old. Oh my gosh, Biscuit is so cute. So Biscuit is just a baby, just eight months old. And what is Biscuit learning today? Yep. Right now, he's, demonst he's demonstrating some nice tricks that he's learned, but he's also demonstrating walking on a leash and being able to sit and wait patiently. As I mentioned, uh, training puppies takes a lot of patience because they're just trying to please you in any way they can. <laughs> Aww. And, you know, I think you're, you're kind of making a good point here, just showing, you know, the dog walking on a leash and the dog sitting. I know we always talk about how pet tricks are so funny and they're fun and, you know, they give us kind of a fun way to bond with our pets. But some of these are also probably for... It's good to keep your dog safe with some of these tricks or some of these uh, it's a skills. It's a great point. It, it not only keeps them safe, but we, we teach puppies at different levels. So like four to 16 weeks, we'll treat, we'll treat them differently than four months to eight months because puppies behave differently. Um, but it's really important to have patience and for them to gain confidence. We really love the confidence. I mean, talk, can you talk a little bit more about that? Why does confidence matter in a dog? So dogs love to please, and they can, they can be raised in many, many different ways. And if they become scared or skittish, they won't want to behave in the way that we want them to behave. Mm -hmm. So we build them up, build up their confidence, and it's really about a partnership between the owner and the dog. And as we say at Zoom Room, we don't really train the dogs. We train the owners on how to train their dogs so they can learn something really simple, bring it home. With puppies, you have to keep it really short. So. You can go home and practice for five minutes a couple times a day in a safe environment like the living room and then expand out into other environments in the house mm -hmm. so that they gain confidence in their ability and their ability to please you. Oh, okay. And, you know, I, I actually want to talk more about that, that um, you're, you're training the owner along with, you know, yeah. the dog as well. Uh, I mean, we just kind of came out of a two-year pandemic. A lot of us got new pets. Yeah. A lot of us got new dogs. We weren't really socializing with our friends. And, and are you noticing anything different after those past two years with, with, with the pets of the pandemic? Um, two things come to mind right off the top of my head. One is we have a bunch of dogs from the pandemic who were not socialized. We have dogs who are no longer puppies, you know, maybe been gotten as a puppy, but are now dogs and they never really got that socialization uh -huh. and so I recommend bringing them into a, a place like Zoom Room for an evaluation and a discussion to help get them socialized even as dogs and we've also seen unfortunately a lot of puppies being returned because people uh, return to work and we're full-time and and those puppies are, are being returned to shelters Aww. and so there's a lot of dogs in shelters right now that I think people be, need to be aware of and we will give you uh, we'll give a $25 discount if you bring down a, a shelter dog that you adopt uh, and put them in a set of trainings, just buy a package of uh, three lessons, five lessons, six lessons, and we'll give you a discount. 
Nice. Oh, I love that. A, a dis that. I mean, that's a great incentive as well for, for keeping those dogs out of the shelters. That's awesome that you guys are doing that. Uh, John, thank you so thank much. You. We, we love chatting <laughs> with you, and, and Biscuit is so cute. I could watch him go all day. <laughs> I love watching dogs. I love it. <laughs> <I knew. laughs> Thanks, you got the best job in the world, that's for sure. Uh, John, Absolutely. thank you.